Good morning, Britt Begley here with McIntyre Elder Law. This is Law Table Lawyer, and today I want to talk a little bit about marriage. There's lots of benefits that you can get from marriage, legally, not necessarily practically, but those aren't insured. However, legally you can get some benefits from marriage. What benefits specifically? Well, in my realm of work, right, you get some tax benefits, but mostly it's the benefits with regard to estate planning. So. If you're married, most things that are jointly titled avoid probate. So that's one thing. The other thing is if one spouse dies without putting an estate plan in place, then the other spouse is entitled to a certain amount of that person's estate, which protects them, right? You can't disinherit your spouse in North Carolina. And if you die without an estate plan, your spouse gets something. And it protects them, make sure that what you both worked hard for is at least passed you know to the other one um so this is something that's extremely important to talk about because a lot of people in north carolina assume that they are quote unquote common law married which doesn't actually exist in north carolina okay so it's important to understand because a lot of folks think they share assets they live together for a long time maybe even that they have kids together that they're common law married and therefore have some right as if they were traditionally married but that's not the case so for example if two people are not married and they're not common law married either um, and one of them passes away they have to have an estate plan in place like a will or a trust or something like that to make sure that that other person receives the assets when when one of them dies otherwise there's no guarantee and there's been some very sad situations that i've personally witnessed and certainly heard about where you know people mistakenly thought that they were common law married they weren't and there was no estate plan in place and um it just ended up being a sad situation so if you're not traditionally married then you're not married at all and if you're not married you don't have a state plan in place then there is no guarantee what could happen to the assets so moral of the story is is if you're not trad traditionally married at least have a will in place okay if you have questions about common law marriage state planning or elder law give me a call 704-259-7040 and sit down with me for an hour for free.